Hi guys, this is Sydney. Today I am going to be filming what's in my bag number three, I think. I filmed one like years and years ago and I filmed one last year and some of you guys really, really liked it. So I got a few requests for me to do another one on my fairly new bag and this is the bag. I think I got it back in, let me check my order history. I got this back in uh, November end of november so it's only been like november december january three months less than three months and ever since i got it i actually used it so much you would have probably seen me wearing it on my instagram and on my vlogs too this is by i don't want to butcher the name but it's maison margiela if you have noticed from my last video i do really like this kind of rectangular boxy kind of bag and also you may have noticed that I do like these kind of cross body shoulder bags and the exact name for this is glam slam mini quilted leather cross body bag in grey and I actually purchased it on matches fashion which is an app that I used for the first time actually for buying this bag and I think it was on discount this bag like 10% discount so I paid $815 for it and the tax was $81 so in total I paid just below $900 and the reason why I decided to purchase this bag is because of the size I think the size is quite perfect it's pretty similar to my low AV one but it's not as big as that so I thought it would just be the perfect size for me to carry when I don't want to take the low AV bag and also I do like the fact that it's quite casual for me I feel like the low AV bag is a bit on the formal side that's the word I was looking for. I did want some kind of casual bag that I could just throw on when I didn't really want to dress up. So if you open the bag, the first thing I see is the cushion I've been carrying around, which is by Too Cool For School, and it's their satin cushion in number two, ivory. I haven't had this for long, but I could really tell that it's that kind of dewy finish with slightly more coverage. It's not got like a full on coverage, but I think it's got a decent coverage with that kind of glow, which I really like. So yeah, I've been carrying that around with me and I do really like the packaging. It's so cool. And the second thing is the wallet I showed you in my previous What's In My Bag video is the Apese wallet. Same old, same old. I was actually thinking of buying like a smaller card holder, but I just haven't found the perfect one for me. So yeah, I just have the same wallets. I always carry around my camera to vlog. I actually have to check any of the bag that I purchased beforehand. I always check the dimensions to see if it would fit this camera in because that's just an essential item that goes in my bag. And then there's this big pouch that I always like to carry. This is just a random Burberry pouch. It's got a bunch of lip products and random products. I'll sh probably show you the lip products first. The first product is the Aridam Ginger Sugar Essential Lip Balm. This is actually the tube version of the top lip balm I always make sure to carry around with me. I just didn't realize that the tube one, which is the lip balm, this is the lip mask, overnight lip mask. I kind of thought that the lip balm wouldn't be as good as the lip mask, but obviously the pot version is slightly on the thicker side, but this does the job perfectly. It just gets rid of the dead skins on the lips really well. I do use this overnight, but during the daytime or when I'm out and about, I do want to carry this one around with me instead of this one because it's just a lot easier to put on. And then I've got another one of my favorite lip balms by Bobbi Brown and it's their extra lip tint. And this is in Bare Melon. And this one has my name on it because it was engraved by Bobbi Brown. Thanks to them, um, it's just one of my favorite lip balms. I probably had this in my last what's in my bag video. I don't tend to like these types of like lipstick kind of lip balms but this is by far my fave and I think Bare Melon is my favorite shade too. I use this whenever I feel like my lips are like dying. I have like so many dead skins on my lips but if my lips are feeling okay but they're slightly on the drier side and I want a little bit of into it I would use this one. Next I have a lip oil by Pia and I believe this is their like one of their newest products which I really like and it's in number two Jojoba. I'm actually wearing that other one on my lips today which is this one called 
number three rose hip this just works really well as like a topper for other lip products it adds on such a nice glow i also love the fact that it's got a silicone tip so you know how it gets dirty if you apply them on top of other lip products you can just use like a wipe or tissue to get rid of that residue on the wand so i really really like that. And there's a lip tint I've been really really liking recently and it's by Roma And and it's their Glassing Water Tint. This is in the shade number 6 Purple Shower but I do really like the whole range and I've actually got the other shade on my lips today. This is Rose Splash number 5. So I'm wearing this and the lip oil on my lips together but I did use the liner and put it back in the pouch because I do really like carrying this around with me recently and it's the MAC Lip Tensity Lip Pencil in Honey Pickin. I recently had a cold sore around my lips so the lip line is kind of like uneven on my lips so I do like to apply this before applying any kind of lip products so what I did today is I lined my lip with this and then applied uh, the glassing water tint in Rose Splash and went over the top with the Bia Lip Oil in Rose Hip. Those were the lip products in the pouch. And next, I have the Propolis spray I showed you in my previous What's In My Bag video. My voice is a bit croaky, so keeps the breath fresh but also providing you with some propolis. I do like to take propolis tablets before going out but on the days when I actually forgot to take them, I remember and spritz this in my mouth. And then I have this Blossiton Ultra Thirst Quenching Cream. It's a sample that you get from their advent calendar. And I do like to take this around because it's just so small. It's actually smaller than their hand cream. My hands are so dry all the time. So I do like to keep some kind of um, sample, like cream samples in my bag. Doesn't necessarily have to be hand creams. And then I also have this Perio 46 centimeter cool mint spray i don't actually know why it's called 46 centimeters it's probably meant to give you like good breath in that 46 centimeters radius this is meant to be like the propolis spray i'm almost done with this so i bought this from olive young it's obviously a lot smaller so it's just perfect to carry around with me Next is a mini eyeliner, which is so cute. And it's by Espoir. It's their brush liner mini in moody brown. And I actually got this as like a gift or sample when I purchased their original sized eyeliner. And I just thought this would be perfect for the bag because it's so small and cute. And like today I'm wearing an eyeliner. And if I go outside, watch a film, cry, the eyeliner is going to go away. Take this out and just touch up. So that's that. Oh, I do have two more lip products. I have the Rare Kind Fade Matte Lipstick, which I probably wore the other day. And this is in Brick Lane. This is the sample. It's one of the shades that I kind of ended up liking later on because so many people around me were raving about this color. And I was like, oh, okay, let me try it again. And I fell in love with it. So I've been wearing that a lot, just like a, like a light um, wash of color, even on the days when I'm not wearing makeup, but also on the day when I'm wearing makeup. I love pairing this with the MAC lip pencil I just showed you earlier. They look so great together. And then this is something I got as a sample, just like the Espoir eyeliner. I thought it would be just perfect to carry around in my bag. Um, this is the Hera, what's it called? Sensual Spicy Nude Balm, which is one of their most recent release. And it's this kind of mini lip balm. It's meant to kind of plump up the lips as well. I just thought this would be such a cute and handy product to carry around with me. So I'll just put that in the pouch. And lastly, there's uh, this mini Dior. I think this is meant to be a cushion pouch. I actually got it with the Dior cushion, um, but I like to put my little cute, oh my God, I almost dropped it. I like to put my cute tiny perfume in the pouch so that if it leaks, um, it's not going to go everywhere. This is my current favorite scent by Philosophy and it's their Pure Grace. And I do actually own the full bottle, which is this one. I actually used to wear this a lot back in the days when I was a student. Um, I bought a new bottle last month, I think, but I realized that they had a mini one, which is so cute. So I bought this just to carry around with me. Yeah, I carry that in there. Ooh, this is very, very important. I have these alcohol swabs. 
So these are meant to be like cotton pad soaked in alcohol. So you can just wipe your hands with it or wipe any sort of surface that you don't feel like it's you know, that clean, I don't know, my phone or like an item. So that's become like an essential item to carry around with me. So that's everything from my Margiela bag. Since I've been wearing this so much, I got quite a few requests to do what's in my bag video with this bag and I absolutely love the bag. I probably use it more than my Louis Vuitton bag and it obviously fits a lot in it too so yeah that's it with my what's in my bag edition three let me know if you like this kind of video i will probably do one if you like these videos i did purchase another bag but um i felt like i used this more so i decided to bring this one as my what's in my bag number three so yeah as always thank you so much for tuning in till the very end and i'll see you guys all again in my next one bye